I had one hot pussy today. So you know what that means. You all need to tuck those weenies into teeny bikinis for our Babes at the Beach Challenge. Just make sure you look more fierce and fishy than wet pussy. Hey, pet crew, bring in the yarn these girls will be using to make those looks. Let me change into something a little more festive, and I'll come check on you fab felines in the workroom soon. Ta-ta. So we're down to the final seven, which means the judges are going to be looking for any little thing to eliminate. Well, honey, if they're looking at little things to eliminate, I guess you've got nothing to worry about. Hi, Adore. How's everything over here? Going great, Rue. Yeah? You don't think that a sewing machine would help? No, I'm um, trying out more of a loose, drapey, on the bias kind of look. This is totally what I'm going for. All right, get back to work. What style of bathing suit are you making for? <laughs> what do you guys think makes less sense? If I go out with a unibrow, or as a conjoined twin, but like, with unibrows? No, conjoined at the unibrow. Hey, hey, hey! Honey, get your life open! Honey, open! It's time to pussy that walk for our Cats and Heat Swimsuit Challenge, bringing one of our girls a step closer to being crowned the next cat drag superstar, and winning $100,000 provided by, I can't believe it's not catnip, a full wardrobe of kitten heels and cat's pajamas from the Pretty Kitty Boutique, and a free gender unassignment surgery from Dr. Snip. On this week's panel, I'm joined by guest judges Eartha Kitt and Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. So gentlemen, start your engines, and may the best pussy win. Just between us beach bunnies, what did we think of our bathing beauties? You ladies with your fancy hairdos, after you suffer the effects of my hair raising balm, then we'll see who's the fairest of them all. Oh, okay. That was a little weird. Um, moving on. I sort of feel like Adora really nailed it, accentuating our six nipples in a very tasteful way. Katniss, what did you think? It was so incredible, because this is, I mean, I'm her biggest fan. Yeah, it was, it was rough, but it was fun. All right, I've made my decision. Catnip, derriere, you are in the bottom two. It's time to lip sync for your nine lives. Now don't fuck it up. I got the eye of the tiger, the fire, dancing through the fire, cause I am the champion. Wow, okay, um, that was really bad. Both of you, your lips were all over the place, almost cartoon-like. Anyway, I've made my decision. Derriere, Shantae, you're safe. You may join the other girls in the water bowl lounge. Catnip, your Mrs. Roper realness just wasn't enough this week. Sorry, sachet, your spade. Until next week. And just remember, if you can't lick yourself, how in the hell is anyone else going to lick you? <laughs>